This is a recording of the Nexus 7 tablet and specifically how the tablet behaves when I try to read and find ebooks with the text to speech function on the tablet. So the first thing I need to do is switch the text to speech function on. Unfortunately, this is not something that can be done by simply pressing a tactile uh, button on the tablet. Uh, the tablet hasn't got any buttons on the front. It's completely touch screen, uh, but there is an on and off button on the side. So switch that on. And then if I go to home, what I need to do next is go into settings. In within settings, go to the accessibility options. And within the accessibility options, there are two references to text to speech, which might be a little bit uh, confusing. There's a reference to text to speech output, but if you look at that in detail, it only really gives you uh, an indication of like what text to speech is. So it talks about the tells you which speech engine you've got. Google Text to Speech Engine in this case refers to speech rate, which you can change here from very slow to slow to normal over fast and very fast. So I'm going to stick with normal and you can listen this to This is an example. example of speech synthesis in English. So at first I thought that this was where I had to switch text to speech on, but as you see that it's it's not really what it is about. It's more about changing the speed rate. The place in the tablet where I can switch the text to speech on is within the settings, accessibility options, uh, talk back. So press talk back and then I need to slide this from off to on. So it asks me use talk back and I say OK. Ring a 70%. So as you can hear now, talkback is on, or text to speech, as some people would uh, call it. And the way this now operates is similar to the text to speech functions on uh, uh, equipment in the i family, like iPods and iPads. When I touch an icon or something, an image on the screen, uh, the text to speech will tell me what I've touched. If I want to activate it, I need to double tap. Home, back, accessibility, list showing nine items, showing items one to nine of nine. Talk back on, sit large text checkbox, not auto rotate screen checkbox, not checked. Speak passwords checkbox, not text to speech output, back. Double tap to activate. Back. So for ease of use here, I'm going to use the home, home button. Home. Home screen five. Showing item five of five. Now that I'm at the home screen, I'm going to find my books. Folder. Google. Chrome. Playbooks. So this is playbooks. If I want to Activate that, I need to double tap it. Playbooks, list showing two items. So now normally if the text to speech functions as I expect, it should tell me what I've got here when I hover over it. Checked, only time will tell by Jeffrey Archer. Unchecked, the half-life of Hannah by Nick Alexander. Checked, Nexus 7 guidebook by Good. Unchecked, the last telegram by Liz Treno. Checked. Only time will tell by Jeffrey Archer. So to activate this, I will double tap it. That has no reason not to say goodbye to your son, especially on his birthday. I've got a lot on my mind, he said, still looking down at his notes. Surely nothing is so important that you need to be rude to guests. You were more offhand with Harry Clifton than you would be with one of the servants. Hugo looked up for the first time. That is possibly because I consider Clifton inferior to our servants. Elizabeth. 
so uh, that clip hopefully demonstrated also that the text to speech engine automatically finds the next page. I don't have to um, do that manually. It just keeps on reading the book. I can turn the volume up. This page. Perhaps music volume set to one hundred percent. Perhaps I should have a word with him. And I can turn the volume back back down, and all of this is done by uh, pushing the button on the side of the device. Um, one of the things I had difficulty with when I first started this was to work out how to stop the text-to-speech engine and go back to um, my, um, you know, to, to, to go, go out of my book, essentially. Um, the way to do that uh, is to go via the home button. So I'll do the little demonstration. Hugo made no attempt to interrupt the eminent Silk while he was deep in conversation with the man on his right. However, when the lawyer finally turned home, turned his attention to the stranger they de put on his left, Hugo did show home. Home. Home screen five. So that demonstration, I think, uh, showed you that it isn't all that easy because uh, even as a sighted person, I had difficulty locating the home button and using it. Um, as I mentioned before, you can have various speeds for the text-to-speech output and I shall maybe put it on fast to give you an idea of how that works. Apps. Home. So I go showing back. Showing settings. Settings. List showing 18 items. So I go back into accessibility settings. Accessibility. Accessibility. List showing nine items. In that list, I need to find text to speech output. Text to speech output. Text to speech output. List showing five items. Speech rate speed at which the text is spoken. So I will now set the speech rate to uh, very fast. Alert speech rate cancel. Very fast. Not checked. Fast, not check, very fast, not text to speech output, list showing five items. So let's now run this on a book. Home, home, home screen five, showing I playbooks. Playbooks, turned his attention to the stranger they put on his left. Hugo did not waste any time in getting to the point. My father, Sir Walter Barrington, he began capturing his quarry s attention is rather concerned about the import tariff bill that is going through the house of commons and the effects it might have on the industry he wonders if he could consult you on the subject when he is next in london by all means dear boy said sir james just ask his secretary to give my clerk a call and i will make sure i am free when he is next in town thank you sir said hugo on a lighter note i wondered if you did ever read anything by agatha christie can't he say i have said sir james is she any good i am much enjoying her latest book where the S will, said Hugo, but I am not sure if the clock would stand up in home. So I'm just going to turn the volume down, because as before I have a little bit of difficulty coming out of this, but hopefully it gave you a sense of the speech engine. It also hopefully will have given you an indication of where the speech engine, this specific Google uh, speech engine, uh, struggles, and that's when you have words with apostrophes, uh, it doesn't pronounce them um, as as you would expect. It basically treats the uh, letters after the apostrophe as something that it's going to have to pronounce separately.